Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty78609 in his guild and t-shirt with a quick tip related to electric heaters, small room sized electric heaters that a lot of you RVers, including me, use in the fall and the winter because they, if, you know, they're just, they do the job, okay, and, and not using propane when you're an RVer makes a lot of difference because uh, you wagging those heavy bottles is not much fun. But what I was gonna tell you was, the other day, well, I was defrosting my refrigerator, and I remembered somebody said that they had used a hair dryer, and I thought, well, I don't have a hair dryer, but I have a electric heater, okay? So anyway, I put the electric, I positioned this so that it was blowing in the uh, 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 freezer, the freezing compartment of the uh, refrigerator, and uh, well, I got and I got it pretty much done. But then the uh, the electric heater shut off, and I couldn't figure. Out. I thought, well, that's it. I've had it for six years, and now it's gone. Anyway, this is a P E L O Pelonis P E L O N I S. I don't know what model it is, but what I like about it is, is it's got three speeds and then fan only. But that's and then you got the little thermostat thing here on the top too. But I'm not trying to sell this fan because they don't even make them anymore. But <clears throat> What happened was the fan went off as I was trying to defrost the refrigerator freezer, okay? And uh, anyway, I thought, well, again, it's gone. So I set it down and I you know, I tried to turn, and you know, the light would come on, you know, like it had power, you know what I mean? So this little light, it would come on, but no, the fan wouldn't blow. And I thought, well, I guess I finally burned it up. Well, I went to Amazon.com immediately to order me uh, another heater because we've got some cooler weather coming into Central Texas now. This is the fall of 2019. And uh, so I was reading the different descriptions of the electric heaters and so forth and so on. And I, all, I read a little note that was put in there by a manufacturer. It said that if your heater ever goes off and won't come back on, turn it off unplug it and wait about 30 minutes and then plug it back in. And I thought, well, hell, I can do that. And so I did. I unplugged it. <clears throat> I waited about, I don't know, I probably waited an hour. I plugged it back in and voila, works perfect now. You can't even hear this thing run. You know what I mean? That's why I like it too. That's on, on the speed too, which I never put it on. But it started working again. So what happens is this thing, these things all have a little safety feature on them. And when they get too hot, they, they cut off to you know, keep them from catching on fire. Well, guess what, guys? So if you have an electric heater that you're fixing to throw away, you might want to check it one more time because it may work after it's been sitting for a while. But anyway, and also remember that if you buy one and you get it and you have it on the highest setting and after a while it, it goes off and it appears that it's not going to cut back on and you think it's defective, unplug it, wait about an hour and then plug it back in and see if it doesn't fix it because, you know, th that's what happened to this one. And, and I'm so happy because this is a great little heater. I really love it because it's got three speeds. It's got like uh, 500 watts, 750, and 1000. That's as high as it goes on this one. That, but I only put it on 500 watts. Of course, I'm in a Casita RV now, but I've used it in all the RVs I've had. It works fine. Puts out just the right amount of heat to keep you warm. But anyway, enough said about that. Uh, that's all it is, guys. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. So now you know how to possibly avoid buying a new electric heater, space heater. And what else? Uh, buy anything you want. But if you think about it, use the Amazon link in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. Doesn't cost you one penny. Drink plenty of water. Stretch. Walk. Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. Why? What does that do? It lowers blood pressure. I mean, it lowers stress, which lowers your blood pressure. If you don't believe me, check it out. And then stretch, walk, exercise your body. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain. Put in good ingredients, guy. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Adios. Carry on. Bye-bye.